Welcome back, Rankers. Doing another experiment this week with Periscope, and uh, we've got the Periscope people over here. Uh, Periscope people, if you can uh, wave or give us some, some love, some hearts, because you're in the weekly show. You're talking to YouTubers now. Don't make me look bad. No hearts, no love. Anyway, they're there. They'll come. There was heaps of hearts before. There's no hearts. Ah, oh, I got a purple heart. See, so this is live, right? So we've got uh, live people here on Periscope and then everyone else over here. So I'll just put you guys over here for the minute. Okay. So we're going to have a look at another tool this week and got some really good feedback on the tools last week. Incidentally, I've got a conversion rate optimization story which I will share with you next week because uh, I'm just waiting for the for the data to come in. But it's a pretty funny one, and it's a pretty good one. So, uh, and it's a really good lesson, so I'll share that with you next week. I was hoping to this week, but I still don't have the data. So this week I thought I'd have a look at a couple of tools, uh, well, one in particular that I use all the time. But before I get to that, I just wanted to tell you about this important webinar. Dun, dun, dun. Uh, we've got Vandana and we've got Courtney here uh, talking about Magento and basically uh, how to get Magento to the point where it's great for your PPC and it's fantastic for your SEO. Um, it is on this Thursday, so it's in two days' time. I'm just going to turn the uh, Periscope people around so that they can see the URL. And it is at SEO traffic, sorry, seo-traffic.leadpages.co forward slash webinar magento forward slash. So it's on in two days time. So if you're around, if you are on Magento, then please get along uh, to that webinar. It's completely free. Not going to flog you anything at the end. Nothing like that. Um, we just like telling people about stuff because you'll tell others about our stuff as well. Uh, let me just make sure we're still on camera for, yeah we are, just still on camera for Periscope people. All right, so this tool that I like to use is one called Search Console. Now it's not just all the normal things that you would see in Search Console. I like to use a thing called Search Analytics. So this is one of the uh, sites I've been working on for the Bloggers SEO product. And thank you to everyone who's registered uh, for bloggersseo.com. And, uh, and basically, we've got the beta test underway now. I know some of you are still um, uh, waiting for a bit of communication there, so we'll get that to you quite soon. Uh, and this is the one of the sites we've been working on and you know we got her onto the front page for her main hero phrase and waiting for it to waiting for a couple of more changes to be implemented to get it up to the next level so i'm hoping in the next week or so it'll be up around sixes and fives now you might think oh fives and sixes sixes and fives that's not very high uh but for the competition that she's up against for this phrase it's actually excellent because if I show you, I'll show you what I mean. So the phrase is healthy Thermomix recipes. And we'll come back to this curry, because I know you all like curry. Hey, do you hear about sausages? I'm a vego. Vegetarian sausages apparently have human DNA and some meat in them. Story was out today, I read it on the internet, so it must be true, right? Okay, so healthy Thermomix recipes. On the other hand, bacon can kill you. Bacon can give you cancer. That's what it said on the internet today. So healthy Thermomix recipes. You can see here we're number nine. We've been stable. Um, we're using our SEO trends tool here. You can see these two have dropped, but this one's gone up two spots. So I think in this situation, by using the SERP trend tool, we can say, well, quirky cooking's probably been rewarded rather than the, these two sites penalised. Um, but, you know, the Skinny Mixes hasn't moved from number nine, sort of sat there for about a week now. I'm hoping it will go above these and end up somewhere around the, the Pinterest. I'd like to go above the Shrinking Hubby and Changing Habits and sit at number three eventually. But uh, from number nine, I don't think we'll go from number nine to number three. And the reason I'm saying threes, um, ultimately, is because up the top we've got the authority 
uh, Thermomix recipe site, which is recipecommunity.com.au. So if I, if I can get in somewhere around here, oh my God, awesome. So how are we going to do it? Well, we're at number nine. And what I want to do is just have a look and see what's happened to Thermomix phrases with Skinny Mix. Now we're in the search traffic area in search analytics and I've just done a, a filter of my queries only to show words uh, that have Thermomix. And what I'm, I want to know the impressions because the impressions number gives us the opportunity number, if you like. It's what, uh, you're not going to get all of those impressions even if you're number one, two and three, you still won't get all those impressions. But you'll get a good slice of them if you're in the ones, twos and threes. And then I want to have a look, and you can see there the difference between clicks and impressions. Incidentally, this clicks number is never right. It doesn't marry up to the Google Analytics clicks from Google Organic Search. So you've got two tools saying completely different things. Uh, so this one, what I want to do is have a look at the impressions, but I also want to have a look at over the last 28 days, uh, how have we increased the traffic for Thermomix phrases? Uh, so you can see here the uh, the blue line. I'll just turn clicks off so it's less confusing at the moment. I'm just looking at impressions. So you can see there we've had a gradual increase um, since probably late August and we're up there now. So you can see a good increase for generally for Thermomix related phrases. Then I can say, okay, well, that's uh, the impression difference. But what I also want to see is what position were they in and what position are they in now? So now I've got the two columns, of oh, four columns. So I've got uh, col two columns here for the impressions and two columns here for the position that were, they were in. And what I'm looking for is the opportunities and or uh, what's uh, up and coming. So. What I can say is, one way you can do it is to say, um, so a month ago, show me everything that wasn't ranking. And you can see here we've got a number one for this Zadar chicken Thermomix, which we didn't have last month. Or no one searched for it last month. Either could be true. <laughs> or both could be true. Uh, Thermomix curried sausages. That's interesting. Nothing last month. It says rate point two and there's 182 searches for it. So, you can see here we've got a couple. Coconut curry sausages Thermomix, number four. There's been 15 searches on that. Um, okay, curry sausages, Thermomix, 20. We're at number four, nothing last month. So you can start to see a pattern. All of a sudden we've got sort of sausage Thermomix recipes coming up. So what I want to do now is I want to have a look at Okay, well, of those, what, which of these phrases got the largest impression? So butter chicken Thermomix, absolutely stunning, not much change in rankings over the last month, uh, and not much change in impressions, but the word Thermomix, so you look at that, and these are average rankings, by the way. So you might be number one in Sydney, but you might be number 15 in Melbourne. So these are an average of everything that where you're ranking for, or sorry, these are an average of the number of searches that were done and where you ranked at the time those searches were done. Okay, so it's, it's you might go and do the search and find that you're nowhere near some of these rankings. Uh, so you can then just scroll down and start to see which are the high volume, and that one there stands out, healthy Thermomix recipes, right? Now we're only 15 last month. This month we're averaging 9.5, but look at the difference in impressions. That's massive, right? So that's gonna keep climbing, and as you go higher, it will the, the impression number will get higher as well. Uh, you can scroll down here. Here's, here, look at this one, look at this. 240 searches this month and only two last month. We were ranked 45 last month, and we're ranked eight this month. So then you start to go, okay, well, that's a significant chunk, really. Uh, and then you have a look at some of these others that might be related. So if we just go and search for sausage, 
that's the one. Curry sausages Thermomix. And then we'll go to the next one. And you can see here, Thermomix curry sausages, 182. Uh, nothing last month. And then this month. So there's a whole range of curried sausages phrases that could bring in about, when you go through and look at them all, about a thousand a month. So that is significant. And so then you're going to have to look at the page. What is ranking? So we'll go curried, curried sausages thermo mix. And I should switch you guys around so you can actually see the screen. I'm just moving around the Thermomix people so they can see the screen. How does the screen look? The screen looks empty. Hang on, I'm moving them over here. I don't want them to feel lonely. Okay, so we're going for curry sausages Thermomix. And we can see here that we've got down here, one, two, so a seven. And what about Thermomix curried sausages? Do, 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 do. It's about the same, about the same. So let's go and have a look at the page. And what we can see with this page is that it doesn't have the word Thermomix in our H1. And because of the style of the headings, and I've spoken to Skinny Mixers about this, and because of the, um, the way that they publish on Skinny Mixers, it's called Skinny Mixers Coconut Curry Sausages. I don't like that. I want to call that Thermomix Coconut Curry Sausages. Probably going to have to have an argument with the blog owner, though. They may not like that very much. But things like this. Look at this. Look at this image. It is called image underscore two thousand and five dot jpeg. So that's come straight out of the camera and been uploaded into WordPress. And the file name hasn't been changed. So I need to change that. I need to put a caption in here. I need to put. Uh, a whole range of things in here. And look at this. It was only published on October 4th. So that would understandably be why there wasn't a lot of searches for it last month. But this month there are, and a significant amount. So, uh, and we need a caption. I want to get a caption in here. Uh, and I want to get the word Thermomix in here. And when you read the story, there's a number of opportunities for uh, Nikki of Skinny Mixes to do this. Uh, because she talks about the, the recipe used to be something that they used to have with, before they had a Thermomix. She adapted it for the Thermomix. Uh, and you can see we've got the Thermomix here. So, you know, I might even put up here in brackets, adapted for Thermomix. There's a number of ways you can do it. But that's the way that I tend to use, excuse me, nothing personal, Periscope people. That's the way I tend to use... Google Search Console and Search Analytics specifically. Looking, um, what I'm looking for is the movers because it can tell me something about the site. So there's a whole group of phrases there. Curried sausages, Thermomix, not even on the radar. Maybe Nikki knew that it was a high volume phrase so she's chasing it. But you can come in here and you can see all sorts of things where you, you, there's no other place to get this data. You're not gonna get it from the Google AdWords tool. You're not gonna get it from Google Analytics. Uh, you're not going to get it from Google Trends, but you will get it here. And I can tell you right now is that if you work on it, like this butter chicken Thermomix, where we're still number four for that, um, I don't know whether there's a lot more impressions, even if you're ones and twos. But certainly, curry sausages, there's a lot there. Hopefully that's helpful. We'll see you next week. Thanks very much. Bye.